Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Madhula Gauri, MD in Psychiatry. Let's talk about anger management. What is anger? Where does it come from? How is it useful in our life and how it affects people around us? So anger is an emotion that comes from within ourselves uh, or as a reaction to what happens in our, in our society or in our environment or in the situation that we are. You can be angry at a situation. You can be angry at different, different things. So how do you express this anger? Sometimes this anger makes you motivated and work harder towards a particular goal. Like for example, if uh, somebody has uh, insulted you or humiliated you in a certain way, you get angry rather than taking revenge or rather than shouting at that person, you focus that anger and work towards becoming better. So that can be a different kind of expression of the same emotion. And sometimes you get very angry and you start screaming at people and you maybe become violent and abusive. So these are also the expressions of the same emotion called anger. So the management is important when these uh, negative things or these abusive or this kind of expression comes out. So anger management is something that is important for every individual at every stage of life. Children becoming angry is called tantrum. They are throwing, throwing a tantrum. We don't know why they are shouting, why they are screaming. That is also an expression. As you become older, your expression of anger will change. When you are in your adolescence, maybe you will express your anger by, you know, by being rebellious, by being, uh, uh, you know, vandalism, like destroying things or hurting others. All this are also expression of anger. When you are in a relationship, husband or wife shouting at each other, taking out their anger on each other, taking out their anger on children, like, you know, beating the children, shouting at them, all this also. As you get older, when parents uh, dealing with their, grandparents dealing with their children or children or uh, grandchildren, that is also becomes kind of a expression of the anger. So how do you manage it? You have to understand that this is an emotion and there is a definite way to regularize your emotions. So how far is it affecting your life? If you are being motivated by the anger, that means it is not affecting you in a negative way. So you don't need to worry about it. But anger as a motivation again can be two different directions. Like you are motivated so much because you are angry and then if you don't achieve that goal, you become depressed or become sad or you become a negative, that negative expression of that anger might come. So that is one thing. And uh, so if whether it is helpful or not, Understanding that it's an emotion is important and when you are expressing your emotions in a particular way in a, on a particular person then you that person will get affected and you will get affected in return. So at that time you have to take help you have to understand what is this what is that is going on with you at this time you can go to a um, psychologist or a counselor whoever you can you can go to understand what is happening so if only anger is the problem in your relationship at any point of time you can go to any kind of therapist but you have to understand that this anger can become a part of your uh, neurotransmitter system also and a particular has uh, neurotransmitter can cause that sudden impulsive anger so that if you want to understand, then you have to go to a doctor and take help and get a proper evaluation and diagnosis. So for your anger management, you can go to a psychologist, take help, understand what's going on or if it is not reducing, then you have to identify that it's a disorder, go to the doctor, take help. If you have a disorder, that doesn't mean there's something wrong with you, something bad or anything like that. As simple as going to a friend to take help, as simple as just going outside to a park and feeling better, or as simple as going to a coffee shop or a restaurant and you feel better, it should be that simple to go to a psychiatrist or to go to a psychologist. Because psychiatry is not like uh, you are sick, that's why you are taking help. Sickness and mental illness is not the same thing. Because they are different understanding will be there of both of them. So when you say that you are sick, and when you say that you're ill, it's a different thing. Mental health awareness is not just knowing about the illness, it is knowing about the sickness also. When you call sick is when you start the discrimination and you feel prejudice that, okay, I'm not well, people will think I am sick or I think I am sick or I think I'm something is wrong with me. So that concept is something that needs to change and your understanding of it also, should, uh, if, if it changes, then you'll feel 
better and you can have a better life. There's a lot of things that are happening around us which make us angry. It may be just the traffic that is going on, you're driving and somebody cuts you and you get angry. You're going to work and you're just five minutes late and your boss or your colleague makes fun of you or screams at you, then you get angry. Then, for example, you are upset with the potholes and you get angry at the government or you don't have enough money or you're paying a lot of taxes and you're comparing to with other people who are paying lesser taxes than you. You get angry. So all this also you can understand that that anger is an emotion and how to deal with different kinds of situations also will help you get better and be peaceful in your life. So getting to work on time, doing your things on time, not able to uh, finish the tasks. These things also can cause anxiety and anxiety and anger have a very close relation. If you're not able to achieve it, you'll get upset and beginning to when you are going through that uh, emotion of achieving it or emotion of going to getting to that place will call anxiety. So you have you become anxious and you become upset with yourself or you become upset with uh, things around you. Most commonly when you hear these terms like um, uh, work stress and uh, work, low en uh, work environment is not good, feeling stressful at work, it's this relation between the anxiety and anger. And when this becomes like a struggle, you become sad or that next emotion that is there that comes across. So if you plan your day properly, you can manage this better. If you are not able to plan your day properly, a lot of us will have a motivation to do all the plans, but we won't be able to execute it. So you can take small like 30 minute or 15 minute or even 10 minute planning and decide what you want to do in those 10 minutes. That also can be some kind of peace during your day or during your beginning of the day or any time. So these bits of peacefulness, bits of calmness also will help you to deal with your emotions and will help with your emotional regulation. And the emotional regulation is not there is only when that anger outbursts and that expression of emotion comes out in a bad way.